Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Tonizar Lenovo X240 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can speed up the performance on this one because sometimes it depends where you bought them they do come with a mechanical hard drive so you can swipe that one with a solid state drive it will make it much much faster in this video I'm gonna go through all that and what kind of hard drive you can put in and which one is suitable also remember uh, when you upgrading your hard drive to a solid state drive or to another bigger hard drive you're not going to have any operating system on a new drive so pretty much you have to install your new fresh install of windows on a new drive so before we do anything you have to always back up your file to extend a hard drive or to a cloud or somewhere your data so yeah and also you can do a cloning but the cloning i do not recommend you at all and you do get sometimes mostly blue screen of death or stuff like that so i highly recommend you guys to do a, a fresh install of the windows if you want to clone yourself imagine i don't have a ssd right on hand let's say that you have an ssd and you want to upgrade it you want to get this adapter which is usb to sata cable uh, you, uh, you want to connect this one to your computer and download a program called Mercurium Reflect and that program allows you to do a cloning from your hard drive to a different hard drive it will work but randomly you will get a blue screen of death shutdowns randomly but that's an option not a recommended one but it is an option we have tried many different programs for cloning but they do always have some kind of uh, fallback and they do have failures anyway but in this video i made a video how to create your windows 10 usb boot drive i'll leave that link in the video description also i made another video how to create your windows 10 usb boot drive also that's in the uh, description also i made a uh, video how to install windows with the using app the proper way on your lenovo laptop again that video is in the video description all right with all this set let's get it started first thing first power up the laptop back up your files and then you want to flip the laptop upside down next you want to remove the battery by pulling this trigger to that side this trigger to this side and it's sliding back the battery all right once you remove the battery now the rest should be really easy we're going to start on the screen all the screws on the around it the one in the middle too these screws do the, they do have a C lock on them. That means the screw will not come out entirely. You just have to loose them up. I'm gonna use an iFix screwdriver set. And from this set, we're gonna use a Phillips number one. So we're gonna start on the screen one, each one of them and just leave it there. Just do a few turns and that's it. Keep doing that to all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and support. I really appreciate it. It will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions in the comment area. One of the screws in the front, the C-lock is broken, so yeah, it just came out. Nothing happens, you just have to screw it back in. Let's say that we loosen up all the screws. Now all you need to do, grab yourself an opening tool. For the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick, and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You're going to stick the guitar pick between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like this. And you should see a few clicks, that's what you want to hear, you want to just pop, twist, twist, and you should get the cover loosened up. You want to work yourself all around to the corner back, left and right side, and then you want to, you can either wiggle around, and it will loosen up and remove the bottom cover all right once we get down here we can see right away that there's a mechanical hard drive right away here there is two m.2 but these are a special m.2 these are for wi-fi and ww lan card right here for 4g so the only thing that you can do right here to remove the mechanical drive and install a solid state drive 2.5 inch you can put a four terabyte solid state drive I would recommend you the Samsung brand, the Gigabyte brands, and Adata and Kingston. They are low budget laptop uh, hard, hard drives, but they are still better than a mechanical drive. So, here we have one solid state drive. So, what we're going to do, we need to remove one screw right here to remove the caddy. The caddy is the, the bracket that holds the hard drive in place. Once you remove that one, lift up the hard drive, 
now what we want to do we want to grab the adapter right here put your finger right underneath here and pull it back wiggle around and it should release it just remember the orientation it was like this SATA port right here and the power connector right here so you want to have your SSD in the same orientation so what you want to do in here you want to remove this caddy just pull it up has a little clip that goes inside the screw hole remove it and the aluminum fold tape leave it on you don't need it so and you want to grab your SSD and you want to put it in the same orientation just snap the pin holes right through here once you have it right there grab the connector plug it in there set it down and put the tiny screw that you removed on the back end and this is really easy you can do this at home that's how you remove the mm, mechanical drive and you open it up now with your mechanical drive you can buy a case external enclosure and you can put this one and use it as an external hard drive i'll leave the link for a good enclosures if you need to convert this one to mechanical to external hard drive all right now that we have the ssd installed in here and the last part would be to just grab the bottom cover bring it over align it and just squeeze down the back side these pinholes just to squeeze them down make sure tiny clicks and the last thing would be to just grab the screws and just tighten up the screws and if you have any one with a, without the seal lock just screw it back in and that should be all for this video if you guys have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video